Good morning, punch fitters. Thank you for joining me this morning for this live workout. And for those of you that are watching it in the archived, I appreciate it as well, archived play, uh, playlist. We're gonna be going in about five minutes. So make sure your hands are wrapped, ready to go. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a couple shout outs. We had some new people join us, uh, FZFZ. Uh, thank you for joining and becoming part of the Punch Fit community. I appreciate the comment that you left on the previous workout. Um, I also want to thank Tom. He joined us again and left another comment. So I appreciate you guys taking the time out to do that. It means a lot to me. Um, also want to reach out and say it was good to see uh, Shelly, Ed, Claudia, and Manny. They're actual Punch Fit members. We miss you guys and we can't wait to reopen the gym. And then Roberta also reached out to us. So thank you so much guys for commenting. Um, you know, that's the one thing that keeps us going. You know, we all have a lot of crazy things going on in our lives. We're getting impacted from many different angles. Um, so it's nice to have some sort of routine that we can go to. So by giving us the likes and leaving the comments, that's kind of our gauge to let us know that we're doing a good job. So we are ask that whether you're watching this live or if you're watching it from the archive playlist that you please at least give us 10 likes. Let's us know we're doing a good job and then we'll continue to keep these live videos going. Even when our own personal lives are crazy, we'll be here for you. We got a fun workout for you today. Um, so get your music, your own personal music ready. Uh, it gives you the ability to choose your own playlist. For us here, we can't do the music mainly because of the fact that, uh, you know, the copyright issues with YouTube and things of that nature. So it gives you the opportunity to use whatever music you like. And the way that this workout is gonna be today is we're gonna do a little bit of a shorter workout. The last few have been longer. Um, this one's only gonna be eight rounds, so I want the intensity to be up there. The rounds are gonna be three minutes in length with a one minute break. And if you do it right, you're gonna need that break. I'll also be giving you coaching cues throughout the workout. So even though I'm talking and maybe I uh, navigate away from the bag, I still want you to be hitting the bag, staying busy. Listen to me while you work. All right, it's that time. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the camera so that you can have a better view. That's probably not the view you were looking for. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be fixed in a second. All right, let's go ahead and get your boxing gloves on. We're gonna start with a light warm up to prep the muscles. Get the body ready, and then we'll hit the bag with a little bit of an additional warm up. But that one's going to be primarily to wake up the central nervous system. So let's go ahead and start with some jumping jacks. Jumping jacks are great because what they do is they wake up almost every muscle in your body at the same time. Plus, we're going to be on the balls of our feet a lot when we do boxing, so it's good to get those calves up and ready to go. Doing good. From here, go ahead and put your hands on the tabletop and rotate. Make sure you bring the ball of the foot up so that way you wake up the ankle as well as the spine. Go ahead and throw a punch off to the ceiling, off to the side, and down to the floor. So we're really trying to stretch out the lats dynamically as well as the biceps. Good. All right, we got a lot of shoulder work, so let's make sure our shoulders are up and ready to go. Do some arm circles. Make those circles a little bigger. A little bigger. 
All the way now. Good job. All right, and switch directions. And for those of you that are watching us around the country, around the world, I would love to know where you're watching us from. Go ahead in the comments below. Let me know what state you're calling from or what country, a little bit bigger. Our YouTube channel has exploded in the last couple weeks. I'm sure for obvious reasons. Arms are out, so we have the opportunity to meet a lot of new people by email, comments. Uh, super cool. Super cool to meet different people, especially when it comes to different countries, different states. All right, just a few more. So right now we're trying to wake up the glutes and the hamstrings and get them ready. Good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn the clock on. So get ready. Get in front of your bag. We're going in 10 seconds. I don't want us to hit the bag yet. The only thing I want to do is just move in and out. So this first round is just about waking up the central nervous system. So we're here, we're in, we're out. What I want you to focus on is your feet and making distance. When I move in, I'm moving within striking range. My feet are still the same distance apart. When I move out, my feet are the same distance apart, but now I'm outside their striking range. So move in and out. Focus on the bag. Think about the bag as an opponent. Get mad at it, because we're about to strike it. Now, every time that front foot touches the ground, I want you to throw out the jab. Elbow parallel to the ground, shoulder comes up, wrist snaps out at the last second. As quickly as the hand comes out, it goes right back to your face. Play with different angles. This is also our punch fit combination number one. Right hand stays up to protect the lower jaw. Make sure you're clenching your fist and preparing that wrist for contact. Make sure the wrist is locked out so there's no bend in the wrist. You're making contact with the first two knuckles. From here, throw the cross. So it's jab, cross. Notice how I adjust my weight down and I dry off that rear leg when I throw the punch. This is our combo number two. Jab, cross. Now from here, let's talk about the sequence that we're going to do. We're going to start with three alternating lunges. Feet underneath the hips, hands up protecting the jaw, go forward with the right, forward with the left. That's one rep. Here's two, here's three. Now adjust your feet so that they're shoulder width apart, drop squats, one, two, three. From there, go down for three push-ups on your knuckles. One, two, three. Three plank jacks. Two, three. Go down to your stomach. Arms are out, hands are up. Pull your arms back as if you're doing a pull-up for one, two, three. Get back up. Straight punches so we hear the beat. Good, and time. Awesome job. Now, if any of those movements are a little bit of a challenge, for the lunges, just go as far as you can. The goal is to make sure that your shoulders stay over your hips. The minute your shoulders go over your hips, stop there. Work on your mobility. Give me what you can today. Give me more tomorrow. Squat drops. If this is too much, just give me air squats. As far as push-ups go, I don't want to see anybody on their knees. Nothing positive happens here. Get strong here first. 
Give me what you can with your elbows today. If this is all you can give me, that's all you can give me. And then as far as plank jacks, you can also just step out. And then the other one, there's no alternatives. That one you just have to do. All right, we're going in five seconds. Let's cover combo number three. Combo number three is jab, cross, lead hook. Jab, cross, lead hook. Take the brakes off that lead foot, snap the hip towards the bag. Ah, arms locked out. There's no rotation in the shoulder. Boom, it's my core that's throwing the punch, not my shoulder. Jab, cross, hook, reset. Jab, hook, reset. Now, match your fitness level to your intensity. If you're new to boxing, just stick with this. If you're at the top of your fitness level, make this a little bit more intense. Jab, cross, hook, step back, look for different angles, go in. And only hit the bag when it's available. Don't hit the bag just to throw punches. You don't want to hit the bag when it's coming at you. Boom, boom, boom. Cut an angle. Cut an angle. Cut that angle. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Let's turn this into combo number four. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Match your intensity level. Boom, boom, boom. Reset. It's all about good form. When you feel good with the combo, speed it up. Or slow it down. Jab, cross. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Combo number four. If you want a list of our combinations, they're in a written form on the blog in our, in, on our uh, website. And we also have videos on our YouTube channel for every one of our combinations. All right, from here, take a step back. We're gonna do that same combination, but now we're gonna add a rep. So we're going up to four now, four alternating lunges. That's one set. It's two. Three, four. Adjust your feet so that they're shoulder width apart. That's four. Now go down for four push ups. Give me what you can. Either bring your foot out to the side or plank jacks. Down on the ground. Arms are out. One, two, three, finish it, and four. That last one doesn't feel like a lot's going on, but trust me, it sneaks up on you. All right, so from here, get really good at our combos three and four, because everything from this point on builds off of combo three and combo four. If it's an odd, it's gonna start with a jab, cross, hook. If it's an even, it's going to start with a jab, cross, hook, cross. We got 30 seconds. Grab some water. All right, start making your way back to your bag. We're going to start moving on to a couple of our more advanced combinations that we haven't done in previous videos. We're gonna start with combo number nine, which is one of my favorite, because I love the body shot. So here's what we're doing. Jab, cross, hook, body shot, hook. If you're on your bag, make sure you adjust levels. The target for this is right below, or right behind the elbow, below the ribs. So you're going for the spleen on this one. Up and in, grab that rib break it and send it into the spleen at the same time. Jab, cross, hook, bottom shot, hook. Jab, cross, hook, bottom shot, hook. 
It's an add, so it's building off a of three. Notice when I throw this strike, it's jab, cross, hook. Notice the position of my shoulders. I need to go down to get up and in. I go down, arm comes out. Even though my arm's here, the elbow doesn't go past the ribs. Instead, I bring my core back, and then I go up and in and finish off with the hook. If you're shadow boxing, move around. On the bag, jab, cross, hook, body shot, hook. When you feel good with the combination, speed it up. Good. Keep going. I want you to see you do that. Combo number nine. Jab, cross, hook, body shot, hook. Speed it up. Go, go, go. All right, step away from your bag. We're gonna go ahead and add a rep to that sequence. Five alternating lunges. That's one. Two, shoulders over the hips. Three, four, five. Five drop squats, you're here. Down, one, two, three, four, five. Go down for push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Plank jets. One, two, three, four, five. Good from here, down on your stomach. Arms are up, hands are forward, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect timing. Damn, I'm good. Sorry, you get excited. Now we're gonna go over one of my favorite strikes that we use in the Punch Fit program. It's our combo number 10. Please take this opportunity while I'm demonstrating it to give us a thumbs up. Let me know I'm doing a good job. 10 likes per video. Whether you're watching it live or archived, I keep bringing them out. I'm just asking for 10 at the least, but don't stop at 10. Combo number 10 looks like this. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Now watch what happens here. My lead arm, I'm right-handed, so for me this is my left hand comes out. My arm is somewhere in between a hook and an uppercut. So we're into that shovel hook stance right there. Shoulders locked out. How do I get to the target if I can't move my shoulder? From here I do what's called the gazelle punch. My feet lift off the ground and I bring my entire body weight into the bag, into my opponent's liver. Again, I'm looking to get behind the actual ribs and up into that soft organ. And then from here, I finish them off with a cross. And this is what it looks like on the bag. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Arm comes out, other arm comes back. I rotate, I'm storing all this energy in my core. Boom! Pop off and finish them off with a cross. This is what it looks like on this side. Jab, cross, hook, cross, Arm comes out, shoulders locked, arms in between a hook and an uppercut. I rotate, right hands up protecting my face. I put all my body weight into that bag and then finish them off with a cross. This is a really cool combination because if you think about it, their hands are up protecting their face. I want to get them to drop their hands. I throw my body weight into their liver. Their hands drop. Even if they throw a strike out of desperation, they're going to throw it where they last remember seeing me. But I'm off to the side. Reset. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Self punch, cross. Reset. Hook, cross. 
heart comes out, other arm comes up to protect the face. Throw your body weight into the bag. Finish them off with the cross. Remember, most important thing about these shovel hooks, number one mistake people make is they don't adjust their levels. My jab, my cross, my hook, and my cross are going at the head level. I need to adjust my shoulders as my arm comes out. I need to rotate and drive up and in like a shovel. I'm grabbing that liver in the bottom of the rib cage, and then I'm finishing them off in the jaw. Oh, you guys had me Gavin. Here we go. Give me a total of six now. One, two, whoops, that's two. Hands are up. Three. Sorry, I get excited about that combo. This is going to be five. We're going to have to work through the beef, guys. It's your fault for not keeping me on track. Just kidding. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go down right away. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down on the ground. Arms are up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And time. If you're not done, finish it out. If you are, grab a sip. Now I'm working at a medium pace so that I can hold a conversation. However, if you are able to hold a conversation, you're not working hard enough. I need you to go faster. The heavy bag is all about going outside that comfort zone and working on your metabolic conditioning. The way that you do that is when you're done, you should just be a pile of sweat on the ground and you need that one minute to fully recover. All right, we're going in eight seconds. Here's our next combination. Combination number 11. Now we start to add head movement and we start to avoid getting hit. So since it's an odd, it starts with three. Jab, cross, hook. From here, this hook goes back up to my jaw and I bob and weave towards my last strike because my weight's on this lead foot. I go down, I come up, I explode back with a hook, cross, hook. On the bag, it looks like this. Jab, cross, hook, bob and weave, hook, cross, hook. Now keep working while I'm talking. Common mistake with this one is people hinge at the hip. What I mean by that is they either jab their cross their hook and they go down. As soon as you hinge at the hips, now you have this knee coming up at you. You have an uppercut coming at you. You also don't have anywhere else to go. So if you do this correctly, jab, cross, hook, bob and weave, hook, cross, hook, and you've got somebody that's a little bit more aggressive, maybe the next time you're gonna need to go lower. But now you have that option, cross, hook, Bob and weave, hook, cross, hook. How do we increase the intensity? Add movement. Jab, cross, hook, bob and weave, hook, cross, hook. Switch to the other side. Boom, boom. So this is called cutting angles. I want to hit the bag off to the side. Whenever I'm in front of my opponent, that's a 50-50 chance one of us is going to win that fight. I don't like those odds. I want to be at 75-25. Boom, boom. Switch. When you feel good with it, speed it up. If you're doing this as a shadow boxing, jab, cross, hook, bob and weave. Notice all my weight is on my lead le uh, leg. Hook, cross, hook, move. All right, good job. I think we're on seven. Here we go, seven alternating lunges. That's one. That's two. Let's try and get it done. Or the time is up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven drop squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
seven push-ups. Seven plank jacks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We gotta work through the break. Legs are up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And time. If you're not done, finish it up. Now, as we move on, what I want you to really think about is your heels as brakes. You'll often hear me in my classes say, Take the brakes off that lead foot. Take them off the rear foot. In some cases, we want the brakes on. But if my foot is down, I can't rotate my hips. When I reduce that friction by lifting the heel and taking the brakes off, I can now easily move my hips. Same thing with the back foot. I can't drive hard if the brakes are on, but if I drop my weight, lift that heel, now I can snap my leg out. We're gonna move on now to combo number 12. Combo number 12 builds off of four because it's an even, and it uh, continues on with our Bob and Weave, uh, Weave series. Looks like this. Jab, cross, hook, cross. This time, as I recoil the cross, I Bob and Weave. All the weight and stored energy is on that rear foot. Cross, hook, cross. On the bag, it looks like this. Jab, cross, hook, cross, bob and weave, snap the hip, <clears throat> hook, cross, jab, cross, hook, cross, as you recoil, bob and weave, cross, hook, cross, jab, cross, hook, cross, jab, cross, hook, cross, bob and weave, I always like to move my head too. So as you get more comfortable with these combinations, you never want your head, and keep working, don't stop because I'm talking, you never want your head to be in the same spot. You want to become a hard target. Even though this is boxing fitness, you might as well make it functional fitness at the same time. In the event you have to use this in a real world situation, you'll be prepared. Jump, cross, hook, cross, bob and weave. Think about it like a dance too. Your hips are constantly moving. If your hips are static, you're just throwing arm punches. Not a lot of power there. I'm only 165 pounds at 5'6". If I just throw arm punches, I'm gonna have a bad day. It needs to be full body punches. And I need to put my entire body weight behind every one of those strikes. Here we go, eight lunges. And Ed, you're watching our member, Ed. I saw you posted a comment yesterday, thank you. Sorry about the lunges, buddy, I know you hate them. Just give me what you can. We can't lose all that flexibility and mobility that we've gotten over the past three years with you. So do those lunges. Holy shit, I forgot my count. Anybody know what I'm on? That's what happens when I ramble. All right, I'm gonna say that's eight. Feels like eight. Eight drop squats. One, two, three, four. We're gonna have to work hard, we only got 10 seconds. mistake that we tend to see, especially with beginners when it comes to boxing fitness, is aligning the breathing with boxing or with striking. So think about it like this. Every time you exert force, you want to exhale. Just like if you were doing a bench press and then you inhale as you bring that bar back to you. Same thing with the gloves. Every time now I throw a punch, I exhale. As I bring it back, I inhale. Next one that we're gonna do is gonna be combo number 13.
Combo number 13 is an odd, so it builds off of three. Exactly. I'm sure a couple of you said that out there. And it looks like this. It's also going to add our slip. So we have our jab, cross, hook. With this lead hand, I come back. I'm taking my head off target. That's the defense here. My head's off target. My lead hand is up. I slightly drop my right hand. I don't bring it all the way down. I just bring it down slightly. From here, it's uppercut, cross, hook. On the bag, it looks like this. Jab, cross, hook. I slip towards that last strike. Boom. Strike goes over my right shoulder. Lead uppercut. Right cross. Left hook. Jab, cross, hook. Oh shit, here comes a straight punch. Boom! You get out of the way. You fire back right away. He's trying to bring his arm back, so you have this uppercut going underneath that arm as he recoils with the goal to lift his chin, to take the chin out with the cross, and if the cross doesn't work, you finish him off with the hook. Jab, cross, hook. Slip left. Go underneath that punch. Hit him in the jaw. Bring the jaw up. Cross, hook. Slip. Lead up, cut, cross, hook. Slip. Uppercut, cross, hook. Add the intensity. Move around the bag. Slip. Lead up, cut, cross, hook. Good. Jab, cross, hook. Slip. Lead up, cut, cross, hook. All right, step away from your bag. We're going to finish on time. This time, starting with eight lunges. One. I'm not going to lose count this time, so I'm not going to talk. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Now from here, hands go down. Down on your stomach. We still have 30 seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we got 12 seconds. Straight punches on the back. Rotate the hips. I'm not doing this. I don't care how much you can slap the bag. I need you to destroy the bag. And time. Oh, sweating. If you're doing it right, you're sweating too. All right, so somewhere along the line, I was talking too much. Usually happens. Our members will tell you that in class. And I lost count. We should have been on nine for that last round, but we ended on eight. So. For this last round, we're going to finish strong, we're going to start at the top, and we're going to do 10 of all those movements. And then after that, I'm going to call the combos, and you're going to go heavy and hard on the bag. If you don't know the combos, just hit the bag that many times. This is our burnout round. It's the last round. So get ready. We're going in five seconds, starting with 10 lunges. Here we go, arms are up, go. That's one, two, three, four, One, and 10. All right, from here, 10 drop squats, go fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
From here, 10 push-ups. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we got a minute, 30 seconds. I'm gonna speed it up. Here we go, on the bag, combo one, two, combo two. Throw the strikes every time I call them. Combo three, combo four. Don't throw the combo, just throw that many straight punches. Combo five, combo six, combo seven, combo eight, nine. From here, straight punches, left, right, left, right, left, right. Turn that into combo 10. That's the one with the gazelle punch. Combo four, two, we got 50 seconds, stay with it. Three, seven, six, two, five. Combo 13, jab, cross, hook, slip left, left uppercut, right cross, left hook. And again, 13. Combo two, four, three, combo seven. Good, from here, give me a defense. Anytime I say defense, your hands are up. You go out for a sprawl, you come right back up with a hard right cross. And defense! Get up quick, hit the bag. Two, three, we got five seconds. Straight punches, as fast and as hard as you can go. Go, 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 go. And time. Nice job, everyone. Short workout this morning. But if you do the bag correctly, 30 minutes should be all that you need. One thing I want to talk about before we go. A common problem that I tend to see, especially with beginners, when it comes to boxing, is the footwork. A lot of times we see either a static foot, where the foot doesn't move, and the other foot comes up, we see where somebody reaches for the target, or they just get too close and they don't make enough distance. Well, how do we fix those problems? If you have a band at home or a rope, try this. Put that band around your foot, wrap it around a few times. There we go. All right, so now, when you're in your fighting stance, no matter where I move, I should have tension on this band. If I come in and I have a static foot, now all of a sudden I lost the tension on the, bag, on the band. You always want to have that tension. So make sure the lead foot's in front of the hips, shoulder width apart. Right foot behind the hips for an orthodox striker, even with the other shoulder. If you're southpaw, you would reverse that. So then your right foot would be in front of the hips, left foot would be behind. But from here, no matter which way I move, I always have tension on that band. All right guys, thank you for joining me today. Let's go ahead and cool down after I get water. Again, please, if you can, give us a like. Let me know we're doing a good job. And we'll be here tomorrow with another workout. And we'll be here next week. As long as the gym's closed, both arms are up. Take that right arm and bring it in. We'll be here for you guys. Awesome job. Go ahead and put that hand behind your back. And if you're looking for more of a personal touch and you're not located in the area, well, actually, it probably doesn't matter because you couldn't come anyways because right now we're closed. But if you're looking for more of a personal touch, we do offer personal training sessions via FaceTime, Zoom. If it's something that you're interested in and you'd like to learn more about the Punch Fit program, let me know. Reach out to me um, in the comments below. I have my, web, or my email address, which is info at punchfit.com, palm side up. And we can connect, talk about your goals and to see how we can help you.
Good. From there, switch arms. If you did it right, you got an amazing workout. If you're new to the Punch Fit program, hopefully you learned something new as well. Help us grow this channel. The more subscribers, the more likes, the more videos we will put out. Pull the fingers back. Good, from here, palm side up. You got your hand in a fist for about 30 minutes. If you did it right, your fist was clenched and your wrist was locked out. So we gotta loosen that up a little bit. Good, from here, go ahead and go into a wide stance. Go down and come over to your right foot. I'm going to have you step back. You're down on all fours. Bring your hips back, arms straight ahead. So let's loosen up the lats. These are the muscles that are used to bring the arm back on those recoils. Take your arms off to the right. I think I said arms, I meant muscles. Muscles that make your arms go back. That's not what I said. Go to the other side. Together, send your hips up into the air, alternating calf stretches. Bring your feet up. Amazing job. I was working at a medium pace and I'm sweating. So, awesome job, guys. Thank you for joining us. Again, Give us a uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We cover everything that's related to combat fitness, from tutorials to live stream videos to full workouts. Um, we also do product reviews of things related to this particular industry. So uh, go ahead and subscribe. Tomorrow I'll be back again and we'll have a weight style workout that will require minimal workout or minimal equipment. So come with either a kettlebell, a dumbbell, barbell, sandbag, Whatever we have, we'll make it work. Until next time, get fit, get strong, and get tough.